how to add a google form on your website now this is a question which a lot of students ask me and this is the question i'm going to answer in this quick video hi guys i'm kevil kishan india's leading business automation coach helping business owners past eight years on automating their business processes on google forms and google sheet and click on the uh, subscribe button and bell icon because it's free to you and every week we bring such a valuable content to help you grow your business so let's check out on how can you add your google form to your website so this is where you can see I'm having a untitled form so for example you are having a, a request a callback form which you want to add to your website so first of all let's create a quick one I'm adding the name here and then I'm adding a couple of other informations email address then I'm adding the contact number and maybe I want to ask them oh uh, how do you want to how do you want us to communicate with you right uh, is it via like email or should it be like meeting or face or face to face meeting or it can be zoom call or it can be other so I'm just adding some you know like couple of uh, examples couple of random questions to just make the context out of it and obviously the questions which you want to make mandatory for example name email address you can just click on the required so that people will have to fill it right now let's see on how can we share this Google form on how can we add it on a website now your website can be on WordPress it can be on Magento it can be on any other platform like Google sites and you're wondering that cable I don't know on uh, no. you know whether we can add the Google form on our website or not because Google form is you know a different technology and our website is built on a different technology well I have a good news for you doesn't matter which platform your website is in Google form give you the functionality of embedding the Google form on your website let's see how can you do that okay so here you see we have the option of sending this form to uh, your customers so when you click on send uh, you know obviously you can send the form via email or you can send this via you know just shorting this link and you can copy this and you can share with your clients but the third option is where our answer lies third option is called embed HTML and this is the code iframe code which if you copy paste onto your website okay then Google form will be appearing on your website right so you just need to copy paste this code and this is where you need to define on what should be the width and what should be the height of the Google form right and here you can see that this width and height has been taken here so either you can change here or you can change here so that uh, it gets changed directly on the uh, on the form itself so here I've changed it 500 and you can see here it has changed here 500 as well here if I change it as uh, 700 uh, the height of the Google form which is going to be embedded on the website has been changed here as well so good news you just need to click here and you need to copy this that's it now you're sorted you need to just copy paste this code to the website and you're done and now you're wondering there cable wait 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 what if our website is a Google site how can we add it on the Google site? Well, if you're having a website on Magento or WordPress, I've shared with you on how to do the same. Uh, just copy paste this code onto the body of your website and you will have it uh, live on your website. But I want to give an example of how to embed it on a Google site, okay? so. Google site is a platform which is our drag and drop technology you can create your own website in less than 10 minutes without any coding without any formula so you can check out my other video of the YouTube channel where I've explained on how to create one so let's see how can we embed this Google form onto a Google site so here I have created this form and I clicked on copied of this code and uh, this is my you know a Google site so first of all how to create a new Google site you need to just write sites.google.com slash new and you will end up having you know example of creating Google sites and here you will get a complete template gallery of what all kind of uh, Google website can you create it can be related to project or team or portal or event or you know any other kind of template Google has given and you know you can just go ahead and 
created from blank as well. Now, when you create a Google site here, it gives you all the options and you can check out my other lesson to learn on how to explore this and how to create your website on this. But here I want to showcase you this. This is an option called embed, right? So you need to click on this and this is an option called embed code. So this is where you will just copy paste your Google uh, form code and automatically, uh, you know, this form which we had created here has come up here. And when you click on insert, it will be inserted in your website, right? Can we have a bigger round of applause for Google? This is the reason 6 million business owners are using it. This is how easy it is to do this. Just creating a form, copy pasting the code onto Google site and boom, on your website you can have a Google form. So I hope you like this lesson. Uh, it was the easier one, a quick one. Check out my other lessons to explore more on Google Workspace. And if you're a business owner and if everything is dependent on you, you are firefighting uh, in your business, then I've got a masterclass, two hours of business automation masterclass where you will discover on how can you automate your business processes to run the business working only one hour a day using Google Forms and Google Sheets. So check out the description link in the description and or sign up for this complimentary 90 minutes of business automation masterclass, right? So I hope you love this lesson and uh, go ahead and share it with your friends, your employees and don't forget to subscribe because it's absolutely free to do the same. Take care, keep learning, keep automating and keep growing. All the best.